Now, there's a political shift to the right in Europe. It's got the BBC and The Guardian frightened. Any shift to the right is far-right extremism to the leftist media. First, we've had Italy with uh, Georgia Maloney. Then there's been Hungary, Finland, Sweden, Greece. And there's predictions that Spain and the Netherlands could be next. Joining me now to discuss this is legal academic Dr Rocco Luichono. Rocco, what's behind this shift? Oh, good evening, Rita. Um, I think I can explain that uh, in Georgia Maloney's own words. Um, she gave an interview to Fox News over the weekend uh, during her visit to the United States. And uh, Maria Baritomo, the Fox News journalist, actually asked her the question about uh, the conservative shift across Europe. And uh, Georgia Maloney answered, well, look, People in Europe, the citizens of Europe now are realising that there is a fundamental difference uh, between conservatives and the left. And uh, over the last few years, with the, the crises that have occurred, uh, citizens are realising that they don't want, um, in these tough times, to have an ideological utopia uh, forced upon them. Uh, they want to be governed by people who have answers and policies to deal with the problems that everyday people are facing. And uh, Conservatives are offering those policies and uh, that is why they're, uh, they're winning elections. Well, illegal immigration has played a big role in Italy. They've had 60,000 migrants arrive by boat in a single year and Giorgio Maloney has called for a new plan to tackle this problem. She's talking about offering aid to African countries. Take me through this uh, strategy. Well, what Giorgio Maloney is saying is, look... Um, this isn't just an Italian problem or a French problem or a Europe even just a European problem. It's a Mediterranean problem. And to do that, you have to deal with uh, Africa. Now, Africa, uh, in many states in Africa, are, fin are financially bankrupt. And what that means is, is that you get uh, criminal elements with their money uh, engaging uh, in Africa and uh, taking over, basically, and allowing uh, their activities to make the West weaker in allowing this Ill illegal immigration to pass. So what you need to occur, so what you need to do is you need to deal with Africa. And as Georgia Maloney said, in the past, we've adopted pretty much the wrong approach. We've been full of advice, but not full of help. And when you help uh, African countries, she reminded us that, let's not forget, the continent of Africa is the richest continent in the world in terms of minerals. It's not a poor country. Uh, it's not a poor continent. So uh, the West cannot ben can benefit not only by assisting uh, African countries in uh, providing them with the infrastructure and the resources to stop illegal immigration, but also it can... Africa has not just minerals but arable land. So it can also help Europe because, let's not forget, Europe at the moment is suffering an energy crisis and uh, Africa, with its minerals, with its gas, um, can assist with that as well. So, as Georgia Maloney said, when we, when we help them, we also have a chance to help us in the West as well. Now, what does this rise of the right wing across Europe mean for Australia? Hopefully some of our spineless politicians can find some inspiration, but does it have any implications locally? Well, it has to, Rita, and if it doesn't, it means our politicians uh, are in their own little cocoons not listening. Um, as I said earlier, uh, Georgia Maloney and the right across Europe have presented the difference between what it means to be a conservative and what it means uh, f for those on the left. Uh, and Georgia Maloney uh, knows better than most uh, about Anglo-conservative centre-right principles because she's very much uh, well-versed in uh, Roger Scruton and J.R. Tolkien and the like. And her speeches mm -hmm. are full of quotes from them. So she understands deeply what it means uh, to be uh, a centre-right conservative in the Anglo-Saxon tradition. And uh, our politicians here would be, would be well served uh, to listen to her and to, to take advice uh, from her. Um, and they might find that, <coughs> hey, they might taste electoral success uh, because the polls in Italy at the moment, uh, yeah. Georgia Maloney and her coalition is in a better position than they were when they won the election in September last year. Yeah. And she's uh, possibly the most popular leader in Europe right now, certainly in the EU. Dr Rocco Luicona, thank you so much for your time this evening.